What is going on you guys? Today I am back with another great film and as usual, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? The movie begins as Casey and her girlfriends, Kristen and Jill, go to a bachelor party in Costa Rica. Once they get to their rooms, Jill tries to document Casey's last week of being single, which really annoys the bride-to-be. Jill tries to make a toast, but before she could, Casey is freaked out after seeing a giant bug in the bathroom. The girls laugh it off and head down to the resort for a fun night, and as they sit by the pool, Casey tells her friend that her fiancé's mother hated her and was making them wait until marriage to consummate. Deciding to leave her troubles behind, Casey and her friend start heavily drinking and dancing. An overdrunk Casey suddenly starts to have a nervous breakdown, questioning if her fiancé Jared was the right man for her. Even though her friends try to assure her, Casey has lost all interest in partying and tells them that she wants to go back to the hotel. Her friends convince her to stay longer so they continue partying until dawn and they head to the beach to watch the sunrise. There they meet a man who gives them a map to a destination that he promised was the most beautiful place in the world. They follow the map through the jungle and find a beautiful cave-like opening in clear water. Casey and Jill start swimming while Christine stood there on the side filming. While jumping around in the water, Casey gets bitten by something but she was too preoccupied to think much of it. And after a fun trip, Casey returns home and is surprised to see her fiancé on their apartment's doorstep. He takes her inside and tells her that he has a surprise for her and then takes her to the kitchen and shows her an antique chair that's used for children when they have meals. Casey gets apprehensive about the surprise because she didn't really want to have children even though Jared was quite eager about it. She tells him that it was beautiful and is relieved when Jared gets a call and he kisses her on the cheeks apologizing for having to leave and tells her that he can't wait to hear all about the trip when he returns. Once Jared leaves, she opens up her suitcase and starts unpacking, connecting the camera that she had been using on the trip to her computer. She then draws herself a bath and soaks herself while rubbing herself down and she notices her body was covered in little dots that looked like mosquitoes. Bites. After her bath, she gets a call from Kristen, who asks her if she's still having doubts about the wedding. Kristen is wondering if Casey's sudden cold feet was related to the man that she met on the trip, and Casey assures her that it was not, and tells her that she has her own reasons. We see her heading down to the basement to do laundry, but she finds that she's out of detergent. Dreading the act, she knocks on her mother-in-law's door, who was also their landlord, and asks if she could borrow some detergent. After criticizing her about leaving on the trip without getting her wedding chores done, she reluctantly has her a bottle of detergent, and that night, Casey calls her friend and breaks down, telling her that she's not ready and that she needs to postpone the wedding. Kristen advises her to talk to her fiancé soon, before the wedding gets too close and it's too late to cancel. And as Casey sits down in the living room, she hears Jared and his mother argue outside, and Mrs. Kennedy is telling her son that Casey wasn't good for him and that he should stop the wedding. But Jared was adamant about marrying his fiancé, and he makes his thoughts very clear. After leaving his very nagging mom, Jared heads to their apartment and apologizes to his fiancée for working late. And while they were having dinner, Casey starts to experience strange sensations like an incredibly heightened sense of hearing, so much so that Jared's chewing was starting to become annoying. Seeing that she didn't touch her food, Jared asks Casey if she was okay, and she tells him that she might have caught something on the trip, but she feels fine. Thinking that it was the best time to talk to him about everything, Casey starts to speak about the wedding, but before she could say much, her stomach starts to growl, and forces her to go to the bathroom. And as she was spilling her guts into the toilet bowl, she notices the sticky fluid that was coming out of her. Jared calls out to her asking if she was okay, and she tells him that she was, and that she'd be out in a minute. In the living room, Casey tells her fiancé that she might have eaten something that must be messing with her stomach, and she then decides to head to bed. In her bedroom, Casey asks Jared to spend the night, but he tells her that he can't because of his mom. She tells him that his mother hates her, but Jared tries to play it off as simply being old-fashioned. But Casey makes Jared break his rule of sleeping together before the marriage, and they end up doing it. Jared, lost in the tides of passion, squeezes her thighs, causing the pus-filled sack to burst on his hand. Casey was embarrassed by this, and she runs toward the bathroom to clean up, and she yells out that it was probably from a bug bite from the trip, and that she had a cream that she could apply to cure it. She then goes on to tell Jared to leave before his mom notices. But Casey passes out in the bathroom and wakes up screaming covered in clear slimy fluid and she hears a knock from the outside and hurries to wash the goo off of herself and when she opens the door, she finds her friend Jill who asks her where she was. Jill asks Casey if she had spoken to Jared about not wanting kids, but Casey tells her that she was. Jill then goes on to tell her friend that she wasn't ready for a marriage or a family but that Jared was and that she has to tell him now because the wedding was in a week. When she sees her friend was worried, Jill gives her a hug but accidentally touches Casey's infected bite. She gives Casey a cream that she got from a dermatologist and tells her that she has to leave for work. 
Casey then continues watching the videos from their vacations and finds a video that showed her disoriented on the mornings after waking up on the beach naked. Her belongings were all gone and so was her engagement ring. Upset by what she saw, Casey deletes the video and she tries to eat a bite of some toast but her stomach immediately starts growling and she vomits the same slimy stuff again. She then heads to Mr. Matheson's house for her daily walk with her dog but finds that the dog wasn't as receptive to her as usual. Confused, Casey tells Mr. Matheson that she would come back in the morning to try again. Later, Casey meets Kristen for coffee and informs her that she'll talk to Jared that night. Kristen mentions that Casey doesn't look so good and asks her if she was pregnant. Casey was shocked by the question and tells her friend that she wasn't. At home, Casey buys a pregnancy test and is shocked to see a positive sign. And then she starts feeling pain on her leg and notices the bite has gotten even more infected. She makes a call to a local after-hour clinic and explains the symptoms that she's having and the doctor on the line tells her to use corticosteroids on the infected area and to see her physician for the rest of her symptoms. After returning from the drugstore, Casey uses the ornaments that she bought on the infected area, which again makes her vomit. Believing that she might have caught something serious, she calls her doctor but was unable to reach him and she curls up into a fetal position and goes to sleep. She then wakes up in the tub covered with goo and with no memory of getting inside of it and she slides out of the tub and follows the slimy substance to her bedroom. When she pulls back the sheets, she finds insect eggs covering the entire bed. She then looks on the mirror and sees that the infection has spread to her face. Suddenly, a loud knock startles Casey out of the shock of seeing her face with open wounds and when she doesn't get an answer, Mrs. Kennedy opens the door with her own key and is appalled by the rancid smell inside the apartment. From the dark, Casey tells her mother-in-law that she should not be in her apartment and Mrs. Kennedy angrily tells her daughter-in-law that she's been getting complaints about a smell that was coming from Casey's. Mrs. Kennedy then starts antagonizing Casey by calling her disgusting and a harlot and unable to control her anger any longer, Casey grabs her mother-in-law and spits acid all over her face, letting the acid burn her slowly and kill her. Casey then drags the body to the bathroom and puts it inside the tub. Jared calls Casey multiple times but couldn't get an answer, so he heads to the apartment. When he tries to open the door with his keys, Casey yells out and tells him not to come in and she tells him that she can't do the wedding because she's not ready. Upset by the unexpected news, Jared goes back to his own apartment. Kristen visits Jill at her house and asks her why she was avoiding her. She tells Jill that Casey had been missing for a week and that she can't get a hold of her and Kristen feels guilty that they weren't able to watch out for her on the trip even though they promised they would. Jill carelessly tells her friend that Casey made her own decision on the trip and that nobody forced her to cheat on Jared. Kristen then tells Jill that she stopped by Casey's apartment the day before but couldn't find Casey but everything smelled very bad and it came from her apartment. Jill is still unconcerned by what's happening to Casey, making Kristen give up and leave. In her house, Casey continues to mutate into an insect surrounded by disgusting webs and eggs. After her conversation with Jill, Kristen heads to Casey's apartment and uses the spare keys Casey had given to her to get inside. Kristen is shocked to see the disgusting swamp-like state of Casey's apartment and when Kristen was about to enter the bathroom, Casey tells her not to go in there from the corner of the room. Kristen then hugs Casey and tells her that she's been worried about her and Casey tells her friend that she's sick and she can't control what's happening. When Kristen sees Casey's mutated face, she was scared and tries to run away while Casey follows her, telling her not to be scared. Kristen runs into the bathroom and locks the door and she is then given the surprise of her life when she sees Mrs. Kennedy's rotting body. And Casey, breaks the door and accidentally kills her friend by infecting her with the goo that came out of the pores in her hand while trying to keep Kristen quiet. In his apartment, Jared receives a text from Jill asking her to meet him in the parking lot. She then shows him videos of Casey kissing another man during their vacation and she tells him that Casey slept with a stranger on the video and that Jill has always been in love with Jared and uses his vulnerable state to seduce Jared into sleeping with her. Due to her heightened senses, Casey can hear Jared and Jill doing it inside the car which really pisses her off. She then releases a high frequency screech that causes Jared and Jill to throw up all over each other and embarrassed, Jared goes back to his apartment and Jill drives away but halfway to her house, she decides to go back and see Casey. She knocks at the door and when she doesn't get an answer, she opens the door and walks in to see the disgusting state of the apartment. The smell of the place makes her gag but she continues forward and Casey sneaks up from behind her and overpowers Jill by stinging her with her newly mutated tail. When she wakes up, a heavily transformed Casey forces her to watch the videos of her grape that Jill had apparently taped. 
Casey confronts Jill about not letting that happen to her because she was in love with Jared, and then forces Jill to call out to Jared, who comes inside the apartment. He finds Jill tied to a chair and screaming for him to help her, but before he could, Casey appears behind him, fully transformed into something monstrous, and asks him if he still thought that she was pretty. When Jill tries to call for help, Casey slashes her throat, causing her to bleed out. Jared tries to get away, but Casey follows him, which causes a fight between Jared and the monstrous Casey. He pins her to the floor and asks her what happened to her, and she sarcastically tells him that it was just a bug bite. Casey then asks him to help her, and when he agrees and lightens his grip on her, she stings him with her tail. Feeling the sting of the venom coursing inside his body, he rolls over and crawls away. Casey rushes toward him, but before she could get to him, he stabs her with a metal rod that he finds on the ground, and stomps her head until he was sure that she died. He staggers toward his apartment and tries to make an emergency call, but since he was already infected, he fails. A week later, the entire house is quarantined, and the police raid the apartment and find the bodies of Mrs. Kennedy, Jill, and Kristen inside of Casey's apartment. They also find Jared in his own apartment, seriously injured and already mutated into a kind of cocoon. When they try to help him, many eggs and insects swell from his body and attack the police. And the movie ends by showing us two friends jogging and talking about the upcoming vacation, and one of them is bitten by an insect, and when her friend asks if she's okay, she answers that it was just a little bite. And this is how the movie comes to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed the recap. Make sure to leave me a like, leave me a comment. Also, subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much and I promise to see you on my next recap. Bye.